You it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we're gonna be doing a gameplay of the new Dark Matter Spencer Dinwiddie. Now, as I dive into that gameplay today, guys, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we're on the road towards 100,000 subscribers. If you do know anything about me, you know, I absolutely loved this card. When this card came out, I was a massive fan of Spencer Dinwiddie. Loved his release movement-wise, he was fine. And even defensively, I thought for his time, he was good enough. Now, guys, obviously, things have changed. And shout out to my HK for grinding out these challenges. I mean, it's, it is a grind dog to get all these challenges to get the free Spencer Dinwiddie. Here's what Spencer's going to do for you. 6'6", 210 pounds, 93 three ball, good driving dunk. Standing dunk, wish was a little bit higher. Good ball and oak, decent block, steel perimeter is good. Interior at an 82 is fine. Speed, speed ball acceleration, 94, 92 lateral quickness as well. 10 to 2 eyes, 80s or above across the board. 31 out favors, catch and shoe, anchor breaker, hyper drive, dimer, pig dodger, quick chain, limitless chef, bailout, handles for days, quick first step, deal through the space, stop going, buckable, sniper, bullet passer. Most of his Hall of Famers honestly are playmaking and shooting. Now, defensively, how good is he? He's fine because he's 6'6". You give him rim, you give him brick wall. Those are the main two I see for him. But again, I don't even think he needs those badges. Look at his Spence Goat Dinwiddie. I used him in, in an Al Horford gameplay. And movement-wise, I was honestly pretty impressed with the card. And that's just me. Do I wish he had quick dribble style? Sure. I mean, quick dribble style would make this card even better. But, I mean, just movement-wise, he's obviously good. I mean, side to side, pretty solid, pretty smooth. Quick stopping right there. I mean, for Spencer Dinwiddie, it's one of those things. People aren't going to hype the card up because his name's Spencer Dinwiddie. But I like his release. And, and, and why do I like his release? Well, first of all, guys, I want to say it's decently hard to contest because he gets so high on his jump shot that, I mean, it really is hard to get a decent contest on him. Quick stopping with Dinwiddie. I mean, he is moving here in shoot around. And I'm not just saying that, guys. This card is moving and grooving. Okay, check out his leaner. See if he's got the normal leaner. No normal leaner. So that is kind of a letdown. And I'll be honest with you guys because the normal leaner is kind of an expectation for today's game. Binder back, good. It's it, What is it? The heart of binder back. Tween's good, obviously. You know, movement wise is good. Just, I, I don't, obviously, I do not love the drifter that he's got. Dunk package, that looked like a pretty basic dunk. Is Are the rest of his dunks pretty basic? They look pretty good to me. Looking at Dinwiddie here on current gen, I've always said Dinwiddie's better on next gen. His release is just quicker. It's that simple. On current gen, it on very quick is not nearly as bad, right? I'll say that. On very quick, it's not as bad as it once was because it on normal timing was pretty slow, but it's still well, a guy who I think's better on next gen because I've used him on next gen and I feel like his release is really quick. Whereas on current gen, guys, just takes a little longer to develop. Now, that's not me saying he can't be used on current gen because I honestly think Dinwiddie is going to be really solid on both gens. I just think the difference really between current gen and next gen is that release, and I think his better release is on next gen. I'm in the mode of clutch time right now because I feel like Spencer Dinwiddie can show out in clutch time. And if he can, that's even more impressive because it's not always the easiest to show out in clutch time. But I'm going to use some of the guys... Uh, from, you know, from the grind, from the playoffs grind, and hoop with them in clutch time as well, led by Spencer Dinwiddie. It's a pretty tough scene knowing Looney Tunes has to guard Kareem, but it doesn't matter because I got the GOAT Spencer Dinwiddie himself. Should probably get in a freelance here, but I'm not going to because I don't care enough about it. And that's what I'm talking about with Spencer Dinwiddie. The reason I liked his last card is because his release is hard to contest. Yes, he got, a, you know, lightly on that, but that's what I'm saying. Overall, pretty hard to contest. And he greens a lot of his shots. So that's a great combination. A hard release to contest with a guy that does green, a, you know, a lot of his shots. How do you, I mean... Honestly, how do you guard it? I, I don't necessarily know if I, I can even answer that question. That's a tough shot. But that's just good defense by my opponent. It's good D. Yup, run. Where we at? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got a green. That one is 9%. Uh-oh. It's a dot, though. Absolute dot from Dan Witty to DFS. The connection from Dallas heading into my team. 
my gosh, that's my, where we at? Chill, imagine. Hey, Dinwiddie standing dunk. It doesn't even have a 45 standing dunk. I don't know how that all worked out, but I'll take it. You got Kareem on ball. She's trying to be AIDS. I see what. I don't even got. He doesn't even have mismatch experts. So that's something you got to keep in the back of your mind, too. It's like, it's not even an advantage if you get a big on you, man. It's just going to be a higher contested shot. Yup. Yup. Then witty time. It's then witty time, though, man. All you got to get is an opening. You trying to put me in the rim constantly, run. Oh, yes, yeah, Spence. Oh, yes, yeah, Spence. Do it to him, man. Hey, pretend it's game seven where you get busy, baby. Oh, yeah, that's mine. That's not you. It's not you. It's not you. Run. Al Goat. Al Horford even getting any action. Nah, Spencer did what he just running the show right now. Spencer did what he was absolutely too much for my opponent in that game. He, he, he just was. He couldn't guard him consistently. And he had MJ and Kareem on him. Now, no mismatch expert. Again, I got to keep that in the back of my head. He can get it, but obviously you don't want to have to apply that to him. But again, I was definitely pretty impressed with the card there in that game. Can we do the same in Triple Threat Online? Let's find out. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Spence. Hey, raise the roof. Spencer Dinwiddie with a one-handed jam right there. I need that one. Come on. Don't foul. Defensively, he's going to be really solid. Because, I mean, he doesn't have that much on Hall of Fame. He does have Pig Dodger, though. And that might be the most important badge for today's game to have. You got Bill Russell out here shooting threes. What? Oh, my gosh. Green is only 17. Is that like a challenge to win with Ruby Bill Russell? I'm confused. Okay, Dan Witty. You would never do this in my team unlimited, so why are you doing this? I just wanted a safe dunk right there. Load up and everything. Y'all giving him fools now? Look, if you don't want me to win, just say that, man. Like, if you don't want me to win this game, all you got to do is say that. Show me, please. All right, come on now. Watch this. Come on, Dinwiddie. Come on, Dinwiddie. Yo, I'm tired of the Dinwiddie disrespect. This card is solid in my team. It's good defense. Board, short. Oh, my gosh. Somebody got a duck. Oh, yeah, then witty. Hey! It's not even what I wanted. Poor. Thank you, Run. Need it. Oh, thank oh, you, oh. then witty. All I gotta do is get you an opening, and you're gonna convert. That was four point range, but in, sadly, in TTO, you only get three. They should put it. Come on. It's good defense. You're not graining that with Bill Russell, sadly. Sadly, you're not. Yo. Al. Baby, Al. Okay, Al. I don't love you. I don't. But it's a good shot right there. I'm going to be high on Spencer Dinwiddie. And if you want to know why, first of all, he's 6'6". Okay? 6'6 with above an 80 interior. He's got Hall of Fame Pig Dodger. Pig Dodger. Playmaker-wise, he's pretty solid. I personally like his release. There's a lot to like about the card. Now, if you don't like Spencer Dinwiddie, here's probably why, okay? He doesn't have quick dribble style. That's probably a, a, a problem to some of y'all. He can't move like some of the other guards in 2K. But my question to you guys is this. Would you rather run a guy like Spencer Dinwiddie or Steve Francis? Polar opposite cards, but I'll take Spencer Dinwiddie every day of the week. Spencer Dinwiddie or Marcus Smart? It's probably going to be a question a lot of people have. And I don't know, it's, it's pretty close. Dinwiddie's a little taller, Smart's a little better defensively. I don't know who I'd prefer between those two, but if you got Spencer Dinwiddie, you got a very solid free point guard in NBA 2K22. It's gonna wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.